So it's come up a few times in the last couple of years, the question as to what can you do with a balloon on the end of a clarinet? Can you blow it up? Does it make a sound? What kind of sounds can you make? Um, and since it came up again quite recently in a workshop, I thought I'd make a little video about it. So we're just going to attach the balloon to the end of the bottom joint here and see what we can do with that. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so um, it's just it's just a normal normal balloon. I've just got a pack of party balloons here. So you, as well as making sure it's really fixed on the bottom here, it also really helps to make sure that the the balloon is extending right from the the center of the bottom hole there. And you need to make sure your clarinet's in relatively good repair because if there's any sort of leaking it's not going to work very well. So you notice that when I start to blow it up, it'll have to get to a certain size and then the low note will come out, which is a sounding low E, but it's a little bit sharp just because I'm missing the, missing the bell of the instrument. Once you've got it blown up to a certain point, you, as soon as I let go, the air is going to start to release. You can make some really nice effects by releasing different keys so that you get this sort of um, slightly spiky kind of articulation sound. I'll, I'll show you again. say that it does take a lot more effort to blow up a balloon this way than it takes to blow up a balloon normally so I'm not sure I would advise writing say a 20 minute piece where all the clarinetist is doing is blowing up and releasing the balloon um, just because it's really it takes a lot a lot of uh, I'm sure muscle there I think we should also be able to play with overblowing so that we have kind of different pitch material other than the low E mm. Uh, there are a few other things you can do with this. One is by inserting a balloon valve inside and that way the balloon will stay inflated once it's inflated. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So here's what a balloon valve looks like and you just need to make sure that you put it far enough down that you can still uh, wrap this part around the base of the clarinet but that the, that the valve is um, still sort of stuck and blocking it, blocking the airflow. Oh, there you can see. It did actually take me a little bit of fiddling to get this in the right position. So I would also suggest that you have this on at the beginning of your piece and then remove it if you want the clarinetist to play normally after that. Or you have um, a separate clarinet. So they could, for example, if they have an A clarinet, they could do everything on their A clarinet. Oh, then you'll, ha then you'll have a, um, a sounding D flat instead of a sounding D at the bottom. You can also just remove the balloon with the with the valve attached and it'll stay it'll stay blown up. So if you were doing this at a kid's party, I guess that would be one way to blow up balloons. There's just one other thing that I wanted to show you. When we were trying this out, um, we were working a lot with lights, so we wanted to include that as a component in it. Um, and we found these um, tiny little flashing lights that you can get from Amazon. And um, yeah, you just take out the paper tabs here and, and they flash. And then we thought we could put them inside the balloons and have a little light show. And so that's gonna work a little bit like this. So 
So I hope you've enjoyed these balloon preparations and um, yeah, I wish you much fun with your clarinet pieces. All right, bye.